Hey, what's up dudes? My name is Perez. Welcome back to another SCUF tutorial. Today we'll be doing a bit of an updated version on uh, Model Fit 2 2009 uh, cinematics. Uh, mostly going to be focusing on multiplayer actors and their animations and such. Um, I think my single player actors and animations tutorial is still like good enough for people to like figure it out. <laughs> to learn. Um, but yeah, we're here. We'll uh, jump straight into it. This is so scuffed already. Uh, let's go right side go. There we go. All right, so in the description, you will have literally everything you could ever want. Um, you'll have all of this stuff, all of the goods. Go check it out. If you're like, oh, I'm missing something, then you haven't looked in the description, man. It's all there. So I'm literally giving you guys my IW4X folder, and I have tested if this works with a buddy of mine, Primer. Uh, not sure if I'm saying your name right. Sorry, buddy. Um, I'll have him in the description as well. Pretty, pretty cool guy. Good editor. Uh, go check out his shit. So, yeah, we'll jump straight into it. <clears throat> so, you'll get all of this, and we'll go through a little bit of, like, file setup stuff first. I you know, the boring stuff, I know. Um, so, you'll get this right here. Um, and I'll make the actor console a separate download, because it'll... You, you'll need to, like, do the file path thing. And if I send you my one, you'll have my file path, and it's just a little bit annoying to deal with. And obviously with all other tutorial stuff windows hates tutorial stuff cinematic tutorial stuff so yep you got to go run anyway let's don't worry windows doesn't know shit it doesn't know what it's talking about all right so when you open act console you get greeted with this um and yeah it's pretty pretty good but you can see my file path down here you'll have all of this if i had sent you my one which you don't want um so when you open this up originally uh you'll have uh, show your file path here. There'll be something like here, like showing your uh, show your precache right here. So you uh, click on that right there. And if you didn't know where your precache is, if you're pretty new to this, uh, hello. Um, <laughs> your uh, your precache is in your IW4X full game, and you go mods, and you go cinematic mod, and then it'll be right here in precache. All right, and this is what your precache looks like. All right, um, you have the same precache as me. It should look exactly like this with all of these like single player. Uh, actors and animations loaded in so with the way we're doing things today the only thing you're really going to need to pre-cache is uh, animations um sorry that coffee uh the coffee gets me man you guys know um so you won't really need to do like uh multiplayer models or anything like that you won't need to pre-cache those here the main thing you want to focus on is the multiplayer animations uh which i have links for lists of all the uh animations so i've been asked like how how do i put in animations and stuff like that because i know a lot of people aren't as uh as quick to learn as others which is fine um so i'll show you how i do it so you have all these lines here which you want to be careful um you don't want to mess up anything in here um if you have one line out of sync it could all bug out and all fuck up and you'll be like oh what's wrong paris help me um <laughs> all right uh so the way i do it is i just copy paste like this bottom line here and then I'll just paste that in, and it'll be the same as the line above it. And then we'll just find the one that we want to use. We'll go PB uh, run rifle. And we'll just uh, put this in here. Go boop. There we go. It's there. And then we'll save this file. Uh, let's pretend that we're happy with that. We got all the animations we want. All right. And we'll just close out of these. All right. And then we'll just close um, this actor console here. I just had that open so I could show you the, the pre cache file path thing. Right, we'll close out of this, and then we will, uh, you might actually notice that I have a shortcut on my desktop. This is very, very helpful. Um, so if you go to IW4X here, uh, you probably notice that I don't use React anymore. I use IW4X. You don't really need React anymore these days, and IW4X, personally for me, has been running a little bit better. Um, yeah, so if you right-click on IW4X, and you go Show More Options, and then you go Send to Desktop, you'll create a shortcut, or send it to, you know, wherever you want to send it to. And you'll get this little guy here, and you right click on him, you go properties, and then you go to the shortcut tab, which should open by default, and then you'll paste this in here, which I'll have in the description for you guys, copy and paste, make it real easy for you guys. Alright, so when it goes um, EXE, you go space, and then you'll paste this in, so there's a space between the uh, the EXE and the, uh, the actual command here, and what this will do is it'll just open the mod when you uh, open the game. Alright, so we'll open this up, got it first try, nice. <laughs> And you also have reshade, so everything you see here should happen to you pretty much. You'll even be, you'll even have my name. And I'm not going to tell you how to change it, because I think it's going to be really funny to have whoever watches this just have my name. <laughs> so we'll just go with Afghan, why not? Start dev map. 
All right, loading in. Any minute now. All right, and then we will go uh, Axis or Allies. Doesn't really matter too much. Um, if you're following along and you're just learning, I would choose the same team as me just to make this a little bit easier for you. And we're just going to run, run, run over here. Um, so some quick uh, quick bind real quick. Uh, so no clip two is very handy. You just fly around to the spot you need to make your cinematic or whatever, you know. All right, so that's a quick bind we'll do real quick. Yeah, quick, 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 quick. Yeah, I know I said it a lot. Shut up. <laughs> uh, so if we go slash uh, bind in space no clip two and press enter, you will get the no clip bound to your uh, your in in key. So you just fly around every time you press in. It's it's pretty handy, pretty handy. All right. So now is when I would open uh, the actor console. So you go to wherever you have your actor console. You open it. I don't know how to get windows to stop asking me this question but we'll deal with it for now it's whatever and you'll see that it has your path down here uh and you're connected to multiplayer afghan which is good all right and then you want to click create here and you get a little stick man little, little friendly guy all right and you go down to your next tab and this is where the skin happens we put skin on the boy all right um so up top here is single player models body and head um, so feel free to try use these and play around with them. They may not work um, just because I'm not sure how it would work with me sending it over to you. But give it a try, see what happens. Yeah, it's whatever. Um, so head model, body model. So we'll go head model first. Um, you could do it any 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 way you wanted to. Um, so we'll just go for this head and go for this body. And you go pretty pretty standard guy right here, which is different for me. Usually I make some kind of mix of like fucked looking guy. But yeah, so we've got a guy here. He's um he's happy. He's got skin, um, and you can see this is our PB run rifle that we uh put into the uh, pre cache. So we'll click on that and we'll apply that to him. See, and it doesn't work because some things they just don't work, and that's fine. So we'll go with PB sprint standard. I do have the Akimbo one here and the sprint uh gun down, which is the one I use like a lot. Uh, it's just to have like a different. If I'm having like three actors running, it's just to have like a different animation. I know it doesn't look that great, but yeah and then we can also give them a give them a death anim not all of these ones here work i believe but i think this one does work so he has now got a idle animation and a set death animation so when we kill him he should have that death animation um we'll just give him like a uh, scar h there we go nice gun um also down here you could uh tag weapon right and left so left hand right hand if you wanted a kimbo um you could stow something on his back let's put like a light machine gun on his back a big uh, big old machine gun there you go then it's on his back it's pretty cool uh and then we get to the run bind so yeah so we have actor one which is our actor one here you can see his name it's the the green right there because we're looking at him um direction is forward i've never used backwards left or right uh so experiment if you want to i've just never had the desire to do that um and speed so the higher the the value the slower he will run so usually for like PB sprint or just sprinting in general, it'll be around, uh, it'll, it'll either be a two or three. I think it's three. And then the key, my key that I have for this is two. Um, sorry, man, that coffee. All right, so yeah, speed, we'll go speed like uh, two. And the key will be whatever key you want it to be. Personally, for me, this one is uh, number two. And then you click add keybind. I won't be clicking add keybind because I have a million keybinds across my keyboard and I don't want to mess anything up because I'm usually using like fucking eight actors at once. Uh, and yeah, that is like the basic of uh, the basis of a uh, actor console, which is a really good uh, program there. Um, I can show you a little bit more stuff. So if I press two now, he will run. Looking good. Uh, also, actors don't obey the laws of physics. They uh, don't see the uh the ground so usually having them run on fairly flat ground is the way to do it that's why i like doing afghan into this bunker because it's flat um so to do the command to get him to move like this um, i have this bound to one and then him running to two so it's like kind of perfect right uh so if you go open up your console you go slash bind um if you're going to do the same as me you go number one and then you go mvm underscore actor underscore move space actor one and that will bind his move to to one so i can just move him and then you have your thing bound to two and he just runs nice and then another one uh, which is active back to reset the uh animation so you go slash active back which is 
normal command for that but if you go slash bind um, I have mine bound to the equals key um, you go actor back so it would be like that um, so for me when I'm doing multiple actors I'm just answering a few questions here that I've been getting over the over the few months um, is doing multiple actors at once is literally the, the exact same so for me the binds for that is uh, so i have one and two for actor one and then three and four is for actor two and then five and six is for the next actor and the next actor and they're always um move and run so i can just have like a bunch of actors all together and i can just go two four six and they will all just like run together um also another thing that i've been asked is triple collapse um it's a little bit easier than you think sometimes not so easy um you can just line up bots and shoot them it's fine um if you made a cinematic with a particular actor right like this guy you would have to try and like triple clat them as far as my knowledge and as you can see my death animation didn't work but uh, that's fine press actor back he starts running again um so yeah if you made a cinematic of like before the triple of like the guys lining up or whatever you would need to um apply these guys with all death animations and you could even just like spray them down like that and their death animation will happen obviously my death animation there isn't working but that's uh that's fine um if not if you're just trying to get just just a triple clat cinematic um you'll use the bots that are inside nvm so you want to make sure they hold their gun because that's what looks the best you go nvm underscore bot underscore hold gun and that's it you just go space uh enter sorry and you can see down there it's on true which means it's on um yeah so let's spawn in some bots so if we go slash nvm underscore bot underscore spawn and then it wants a class and a team so you can type assault or sniper or you could even type the sort of like the gun so i usually just go ak-47 or barrett or enter and then because we're on um allies we'll put them on axis and he'll spawn at your um where your uh what you call it your uh crosshair is that's the one and then you just type this in again we'll just i don't know maybe we could go enter for this one it should work yep there we go and i think the ump might work as well ump yeah there we go yeah so we got three sort of different different looking guys um and usually you can just go bank get triple clat nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that at all um but it can be hard to get them all to connect sometimes and if you kill them like that the hold gun like uh won't work so you need to use the the bot kill command for this so i usually bind all three um deaths to like some keys so if i go slash uh, nvm underscore bot underscore kill and it is name sensitive so you go space um a name sensitive uh case sensitive so red with a capital r red which was the last guy's name and we're gonna bind that to shit i don't know we'll bind it to to j oh wait 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 wait, wait, wait. i'm getting ahead of myself we don't need to bind it yet <laughs> so we've got the name now we need the mode so the mode is um the like death animation so you have four different choices which have multiple different um animations so we got head or we got body or we have cash or you have a uh, shotgun which is um yeah so all of these ones are slightly different but they have um slightly different like animations each time you use them so to make the bind we will go slash bind and i'm gonna make this j we go nvm underscore bot underscore kill um space red space we'll give him like the headshot so every time i press j now he should die there we go and then we want green to die next so we'll just press the tilde key and then press up and that'll bring up our most recent uh command here so we'll change this name to green and maybe we give him a different uh, animation we'll give it the uh, like we'll give him the cash one why not maybe he's rich i don't know and um, then we we'll change this to k bind k so we'll test this k he does um all right and then we have yellow so we'll just do the same thing rinse and repeat go yellow case sensitive for me a bit cash and we'll, we'll give him we'll give him the body one this is the basic um and we won't bind it to k we will blind it to l did that even work that looked kind of buggy it did work okay so l there we go 
And if you're now dealing with these bodies, you can go slash clear bodies, which I have bound to C. Um, I shouldn't show, have to show you how to bind that because I've just, you know. Um, so if we just jump into no clip here, just to get out of the way of the like cinematic here, and we'll just go like here, and we just go JKL. And there you go, there's your triple clat cinematic, or you could do it the other way. So front to back. That one would have been really good because the last guy there had a really slow death. Now I press C, clears all the bodies, and then I can do it again. And that's how I do like my triple clat cinematic. Damn, that guy's spawned with a double UMP, boy. Oh, All right. Um, that's pretty much it. It's uh, making cinematics for this game has become so easy. Um, and maybe in the future I'll do like an updated uh, single player animation one, but I still do it the same way that I've done it. Um, you can use the actor console for it, which makes it really easy, but. The main showcase here was uh, the actor console, which is um, really great, which I have done a video on already, but uh, it kind of flopped. It didn't really get any views at all, and that kind of just, you know, went into the dark hole of YouTube and no one watched. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, the main showcase was actor console, but I also answered a few questions that I've been getting over the years. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you guys subscribe, because I actually looked at my numbers, and like 70% of you are subscribed. Come on, man. Just hit the button. Hit the button, man. All right. So, yeah. I will uh, catch you guys next week, next Friday. Hope you have a good one.